guys, today's episode will be about shank types. So if you ever heard about cathedral shanks, diamond shanks, full eternity shanks, infinity shanks, plain shanks, solitaire shanks, that's what the episode is about. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so today's episode, again, will be about uh, shank types. Uh, what a shank really is, is the whole um, band, or you know, most people will refer to it as a band. Uh, in the industry, it's called a shank, uh, and it's the whole section be, uh, under the head, okay? So this first uh, band, or shank, that I'm showing you is considered a flat edge uh, shank. So in other words, um, it, it's kind of rounded on top, but if you take a look at the side profile, and even on the inside of the ring, uh, it's very sharp in terms of the corners, um, so um, so it's it's a flat edge uh, where it's not um, curved around and smoothed uh, on the sides, right? So it's definitely not a comfort fit. Uh, doesn't mean it's not comfortable. It's still comfortable, uh, but it's called a flat edge shank. So it gives it more of a squarish uh, type of look and feel, uh, which is very popular. All right, there you go. Now, uh, for this specific shank, uh, it's on a solitaire ring. Uh, this is considered a tapered uh, shank. Uh, and all tapered means is that it's going to change uh, in widths from top to bottom or bottom to top, right? So for this specific shank, it's tapered uh, from being wider on top to thinner as it goes down to the, the bottom of the shank, all right? Uh, it's tapered, but at the same time, for this specific ring, uh, it is a... Um, um, a comfort fit. Uh, it's not as straight on the edges here. It's rounded out. Um, and this specific shank is also a solitaire shank, um, with, a, or in other words, a plain shank. But the difference between this shank and the first two shanks, which is a flat edge, again, this is a flat edge shank, or a tapered comfort fit shank. The difference in this one is, if you notice this, uh, it, it kind of, um, goes towards a, a point on top of the shank. That's called a knife edge, solitaire shank, all right? It's a very popular look. So it's a knife edge because it meets at a center point as it goes to the top. Uh, even though it's called a knife edge, it's not sharp by any means. It's not gonna cut you. It's still very smooth. Uh, it's just uh, meets to, towards a, a center point, a very smooth center point. Uh, and then for this specific shank, um, it is a knife edge, solitaire, white gold shank. All right, there you go. Now, this specific shank is made of uh, 14K yellow gold. The difference between this shank and the standard uh, types of shanks that I showed you in the beginning, such as this one, is if you notice the difference here, is the shape, all right? Uh, the shape of this specific shank is called a Euro shank. It's E-U-R-O, it's a Euro shank, and uh, the design, is to assist um, people that wears this specific shank uh, so that the ring will not spin around. Uh, so that is the uh, the purpose of the shank, but at the same time, it's also an aesthetic, a design that a lot of people also like. So it's kind of squarish as it goes down, it curves in, and then it, it kind of um, goes around, but not a complete circle as like the previous shanks that I just showed you. Um, and it's called a Euro shank. All right. This specific shank is made of 14K yellow gold, um, and this one is a is just like the original solitaire shank that I had showed you earlier. It's also a tapered shank, so it's very wide on top to um, a thinner shank at the bottom. Okay, uh, it's a comfort fit as it's very rounded around the edges and on top. Uh, the next three shanks that I want to show you um, are different types of shanks, but then the difference between these ones is that it, these will have diamonds on them. So these are diamond shanks. Um, in terms of diamond shanks, what you can do is you can put diamonds um, all the way around, halfway around, or three quarters of the way around. For this specific shank, it goes halfway, halfway around. So in other words, it's called a half eternity shank. Okay. If you want it to go to three quarters of the way, it will probably end up around there. That's a three quarter eternity shank. And if it's a 360, then it'll be called a full eternity shank. So in other words, the diamonds will go all the way around, all right? Um, just like this shank, both are 
very similar, yet they are also different. And I'll kind of explain to you what, what that means, okay? Both of these shanks have diamonds on it. Both of these shanks are half eternity shanks because it's not going three quarters of the way or full. It's only halfway. But the difference here is that the first shank is a cathedral shank. So in other words, this shank here goes 360. It meets at a center point where the prongs are, all right? Uh, as opposed to this specific shank, it goes all the way around, but the shoulders are raised and it touches towards the center point of the, um, the upper part of the head, all right? So that's a cathedral, that's the bridge, that's a half eternity diamond shank, as well as this one. The only difference is this one is a regular standard shank, that one's a cathedral. And both are very popular looks. Yeah. All right, so the next shank type that I want to go over, um, you know, I've mentioned micro pave settings quite a bit in many of my videos, and basically all that means is that uh, the diamonds look as if they're floating uh, because of the reduction of metal and the way the diamonds are set uh, by very um, minimal amount of metal uh, in between these diamonds. And therefore, um, you know, it has a really nice look and feel. So. Um, particularly for this uh, specific shank type. It's another design of a shank, another style, another type of a shank. And all that means is, um, uh, this is actually a split shank. So all that means is, this is a, it starts off as a single shank at the bottom, and then eventually it splits into two, right? So it's a split shank. And split shanks can be three rows, two rows, four rows even. Uh, you know, it's really uh, up to your preference style, design, taste, uh, what have you. Um, this one in particular, okay, uh, is, a, is called an infinity shank. All that means is that it'll loop in and out like that of an infinity shape, okay? And you can do a lot of things with it. You can either make it all plain, just like that, or you can add diamonds to it. These are micro pave set diamonds, right, uh, on both sides. Okay, um, and I'll show you another um, sample. This is also an infinity shank type design. The only difference is that if you notice here, the gaps in between or the spacing in between the infinity, okay, uh, is definitely um, more enclosed as, as opposed to this one where it's uh, slightly more open. So it really depends on your preference, taste, style, what you like. You like uh, if you like it more petite, if you like it wider, if you want uh, more of a dominant, bold look, or if you want more of a delicate, refined, and elegant look. Uh, it's really up to you. The last style I want to show you, it's also a diamond shank. The difference between this one and the previous one is that this is actually a three quarters eternity shank. Okay, because it goes three quarters of the way down, right? As opposed to this one, which is halfway, right? Okay. Um, the difference between this shank and the previous shank is that there are diamonds on all three sides. So you'll see the diamonds from this point of view. You'll see the diamonds on the profile on the sides. And then you'll see the diamonds also on this side as well. So all three sides of the shanks, of the shank will have diamonds. And it is a three quarter diamond eternity shank, again on all three sides. And on top of that, here's the kicker. <laughs> it's also a cathedral shank as the shoulders are raised slightly to meet the gallery here. So anytime you see some, a raised shoulder, that's called a cathedral shank. All right, guys, again, if you like what you see, uh, be sure to follow our channel, leave the comments below, message us, email us, share our channel to anyone that is interested in customizing their own jewelry or no wanting to learn more because they're in the process of purchasing it. Um, you know, spread the word, all right? We'll see you next time.